Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you an essential editing technique for landscape photographers, and it is how to enhance a sunrise or a sunset and just make the colors pop a little bit more. Now here I have a sunset shot that was taken at the 199 steps in Whitby and there's some nice colour in the sky but we can really make the sunset look much more dramatic and even if there was a lot more colour we can still use this technique and just make it much much more vivid than it actually is. The first thing that we need to do is create an empty layer so we can do that by holding down Control, Shift and N, or by clicking on the new layer icon down there at the bottom of the layers panel. And then next up, just hit B on the keyboard to bring up the brush tool. And you can either use shortcuts or go here to set the size and the hardness. So hardness, set that to 0%. And size, it really does depend on the image. So you can just use the left and right square bracket keys to make that larger or smaller. And what we need to do now is sample some of the natural color from the sunset so that we can apply that across the whole sky. So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and that gives me the eyedropper. And then I'm gonna try and find the most kind of vivid, kind of pinky color. Some sunsets, it's gonna be much brighter than this. This is actually quite a pastel tone. So let's paint that in. So the opacity is at 100% and the flow is also at 100%. So what we need to do here is just be careful that we're not painting over the sea or the grass. If you've got a landscape where there are trees or other elements protruding into the sky, just be careful that they're not getting covered over. And what I'm just gonna quickly do is press E on the keyboard and just use the eraser tool. So that's looking like hardness is about 75. Let's take that down to 50. So we've got the nice straight horizon here. I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and just run that along there and you'll see, actually that's a bit too harsh. Let's actually hold down shift and use the left square bracket key. I'm gonna take the hardness down to 0%. Let's run that along there. So there's a bit of a line, but it's, it's not gonna be any kind of a problem. So next up, let's change the blending mode from normal to overlay. So there you'll immediately see we're applying that lovely kind of pinkish color to the whole sky, but it's still a bit strong. Now there are a couple of ways we can reduce this. One is to use soft light, and that gets us closer to where we wanna be, but sometimes even using soft light, if you're using a really bright color, it's not gonna be quite enough to take the edge off. So let's just use overlay so I can show you this technique that allows you to apply the color only to the lighter tones in the sky. So go down to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the layer mask icon and then go up to image, apply image, and then just use the settings that are in there by default. So what that is now doing is targeting just the lighter tones. It's still a bit too strong, I would say. So go back up to image, apply image again, and then hit OK. So this, I would say for this particular image is looking just right. So we've just pulled that color over into the right where it is it's quite cold and blue over there but now it's warmed up just like the rest of the, the sunset over here and for most images you're going to need to use apply image two or three times and that's just as i say going to target the lighter tones in the sky and then leave as you'll see here the dark tones they haven't been tainted by the pink so it makes it a much more natural effect so that is how to enhance sunrise and sunset shots to make the colors really pop in Photoshop. Mm -hmm.